Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office and thank you for joining me. This is morning prayer for Friday, September the 21st, and today is the feast day of Matthew, the apostle and evangelist. The scripture for this service, Psalm 119, verse 41 to 64, and Matthew chapter 13, verse 44 to 52. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, let your mercies come to me, O God, and your salvation according to your word. Alleluia, Psalm 119. Let your mercies come to me, O Lord, and your salvation according to your word. Then shall I answer them that taunt me, for I trust in your promises. And take not the word of truth from my mouth, for I have hoped in your judgments. So shall I keep your law continually, forever and ever. And I will walk at liberty, for I seek your precepts. I will speak of your testimonies before rulers, and will not be ashamed. I delight myself in your commandments, which I have loved. I lift up my hands to your commandments and I will meditate on your statutes. Remember your word to your servant, which you have caused me to hope. This is my comfort in my affliction, for your word has given me life. The proud deride me greatly, yet I have not turned from your law. I remembered your judgments of old, O God, and have comforted myself. Horror has taken hold of me, because of the wicked that forsake your law, your statutes have been my songs in the house of my pilgrimage. I have remembered your name, O God, in the night, and I have kept your law. This I had because I kept your precepts. Only you are my portion, O God. I have said that I would keep your words. I entreat your favor with my whole heart. Be merciful to me according to your word. I thought on my ways, and I turned to your testimonies. I made haste, and delayed not to keep your commandments. The bands of the wicked have robbed me, but I have not forgotten your law. At midnight I rise again to give you thanks, because of your righteous judgments. I am a friend of all who fear you, and they that keep your precepts. The earth, O oh God, is full of your mercy. Teach me your statutes. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Let your mercies come to me, O God, and your salvation according to your word. Alleluia. The lesson is from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew chapter 13, beginning at verse 44. The kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden in a field, which someone found and hid, and then in his joy, he goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant in search of fine pearls. On finding one pearl of great value, he went and sold all that he had and bought it. Again, the kingdom is of heaven is like a net that was thrown into the sea and caught fish of every kind. When it was full, they drew it ashore, sat down, and put the good fish into baskets, but threw out the bad. So it will be at the end of the age. The angels will come out and separate the evil from the righteous and throw them into the furnace of fire, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Have you understood all this? They answered, Yes. And he said to them, Therefore every scribe who has been trained for the kingdom of heaven is like the master of a household who brings out of his treasure what is new and what is old. Here ends the lesson. Let us pray for the church and the world. <clears throat> Grant, Almighty God, that all who confess your name may be united in your truth and live together in your love and reveal your glory in the world. 
guide the people of this land <clears throat> and all the nations in the ways of justice and peace that we may honor one another and serve the common good. Give us all a reverence for the earth as your own creation, that we may use its resources rightly in the service of others and to your honor and glory. Bless all whose lives are closely linked with ours. Grant that we may serve Christ in them and love one another as Christ loves us. Comfort and heal all who suffer in body, mind, or spirit. Give them courage and hope in their troubles. Bring them the joy of your salvation. We commend to your mercy Philip and Wayne and Marilyn and all who have died, that your will for them may be fulfilled. And we pray that we may share with Matthew and all your saints in your eternal kingdom. For the mercy of God community, for the sisters of St. Francis of Philadelphia, that God who's begun this ministry may bring it to fulfillment. For the intentions of all who've asked our prayers and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Eternal God, in whose perfect kingdom no sword is drawn but the sword of righteousness, no strength is known but the strength of love, so mightily spread abroad your spirit that all peoples may be gathered under the banner of the Prince of Peace as children of one God. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. <laughs>